Okay, today is Wednesday. Here's our friend Boone. And, uh, you know, I don't even really recall all my comments that I had may have made about him. But he is a handful. He needs such structure. That, and he's a good boy. He has no aggression towards people anyway. Uh, his food, as we highlighted, and we'll work on that. Um, you know, considering this is only three days, but he's a, he's a tough cookie. He has a, you know, he's a tough dog. He's a powerful, he's got a mind of his own. He's not cooperative. If you look at Ralph in comparison, he's cooperative. Oh, it's easy. He wants to smell and he's gonna smell that, period. And he'll drag me along with him or anybody else because he wanted to smell an odor on that post. And that, he, he forgot about me. And this is his problem. So when the doorbell rings or they're stimulated by another dog, Boone is in another world. So he needs such a firm hand and uh, you know who's you know you got to find the right adopter. Okay, let's go over what we've learned. We teach him to heal, sit, and stay. That gives him a purpose. It gives him structure. It's not that we care about these things. We have to assign him responsibilities in life. And most of these dogs don't have any. They have no responsibility. They go sleep on the bed, sleep on the couch, chase the other dog, bark at the mailman, bark at the front door. They can't do that. All right. Boone, good. So if you remember Boone the other day when mom dropped him off, good dog, the owner I should say, good. He was all over the place. Good boy, Boone. Uh -huh. Sit. Boone. If you see, you probably can't. I'm going to go over there. There's two loose pit bulls running behind that fence. Normally dogs want to get involved. They, they start fence fighting. So I'm going to walk over in that direction and show you how we deal with that. I love him. Boom, heel. Good. Good, boom. He's, st he's stable now. He's not all over. Good. He's not turning his back on those dogs. Sit. Stay. So we're not, we're not removing the distractions. In fact, we're putting the distractions in place so he can respond to the distraction we correct the bad behavior and we love the good behavior. If you do what you should notice in these things, corrections start going away. For those people who are adamantly opposed or philosophically opposed to leash corrections, you know, dogs bite, fight. That's how they resolve. These two pit bulls here are trying to resolve a conflict. Their conflict is in their mind, there's intruders and they want to scare us away. And they want to scare Boone away. Boone could get into that conflict and want to fight them. So we're taking charge, heel. I'm taking charge, good. Good, boom. Now I'm relaxed, good, boom. Good, doesn't matter, good, good. There's no leash corrections, look at my hands. So if you look a little much, and this is what has to be understood. The other day, the mom, when she dropped them off, sit, sit, boom. When she dropped him off the other day, she could have had a filet mignon in her pocket. He was not going to behave. <laughs> Good. So we got to get this calm place. And again, I'm not, certainly not in, we're not in the kitchen by the cookie jar doing this. We're out, I have two loose pit bulls over here, loose in the sense that they're free roaming. Free roaming. And when dogs are free roaming, they possess a threat, right? He doesn't necessarily know if these dogs can jump that fence or get over to us. I do, they're not bright enough. If they had a brain, they, uh, boom, sit. If they had a brain, they could easily jump over that fence, but because they see through it, we're fortunate that they're not that, uh, uh, sit. Now I'm letting him, he's starting to wander away, mentally, psychologically. All right, enough. The point is the, the cor corrections go away, the respect for my authority. Okay, babe. Okay, boy. God, doggy. Is this a dog that has been a dog? Abused, overly corrected, collapsed trach, none of those things. We corrected bad behavior. Good boy, babe. Good boy. Okay, now we're going to put Boone into his, uh, his lovely quarters. And he's been exercising. Well, do it in a cage, in a, in a, in a metal one. He's been, he doesn't like to do this. You see his tail's between his legs. There's something psychological about this that he doesn't like. This is not disobedience. 
something he does not like. His whole demeanor changes. He's stressed out. Just ask him. Now just stay with it a little bit. And I want people to see. Watch yourself. Good. He, this is fear now. We've gone for, there's no reason to be fearful. All right, that's fine. All right, that's fine. All right, now come back, and I, I want people to see that. So just try one more approach, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Go ahead, try approaching again. I want you to see the level of fear he has for this. Level of fear for containment. So I see it as a containment issue. It's not about this is not disobedient. This is fear. I'm going to work with it and show you how we're going to fix this. So let's change this up a little. If something is not working, fear. This is not something that can be corrected out. Here, here, baby. I want to see if he'll go up in here. This is the same thing. Good, baby. Come on. Good. Good, 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 good. And then you can come around. I'm going to give him a treat. Not to come in, though. Here, baby. I didn't lure him in with a treat. This is huge. I made him come in, but I worked with his fear. I didn't... It's a very funny thing, and this is what makes us do what we do well, because we see fear and we deal with fear. We see disobedience, we deal with disobedience. Good babe. He's frightened. I don't know why. I think it's special. As soon as he gets contained, I'm going to let him out. Okay, boy. Okay. Let him out. He can't come, but he doesn't like it, but I'm not going to let him... Oh, uh, good boy. Good. 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 Today is still November 3rd, and here we go through our crate. And let's see if Boone does this a little better than he has. Help him, just go. Right. Slightly better. You know, like I said, the challenge is now getting out. She'll give him some treats. Just correct him. Ask him to sit. Just ask him to sit. Good. You got one? See, ask him to stay. Drop your left hand. Relax. Tell him to stay. Correct. 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 Stay. Good. Stay. Good boy. Hey! Good. All right, of course, we'll take his leash and collar off in a little while, but you, that's much better than it was. And that's when he gets his food. So, you know, we're playing around with it. It's getting better. Who's this? Hey, hey, Ashbet. Uh, so we got a lot of doggies. They're relatively quiet, except this one. So. 